Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. Today we're going to be taking a look at 406.12 and we're going to be looking at the ever-expanding tamper-resistant receptacle requirements. Now I'm reading from the 2017. Always make sure you're in your current code in your area and that you're working with a licensed electrician and your electrical inspector to make sure it's code compliant. Everything highlighted here means that it's new for this code cycle. Anything that's highlighted in the NEC in this manner means that it's new for the code cycle that you're reading it from. It was not in the previous version of the code cycle. Let's go ahead and read it. It says all 15 and 20 amp, 125 and 250 volt non-locking type receptacles in areas that are specified in parts one through seven shall be listed. It calls out its listing requirement. Tamper resistant receptacles. So any of these areas are required to have tamper-resistant receptacles. It says dwelling units in all areas that are specified in 210.52, which covers all of the house and many expanding areas. So all of your house, except for very few exceptions, are required to have tamper-resistant receptacles. Then, in dwelling units, it's not just your house, it would be a dwelling unit, a multifamily dwelling unit, any, anywhere where people are living and is a dwelling unit by definition are required to be tamper-resistant. Then, it call, also calls out 550, which is going to be in mobile homes. Part 2 says, in guest rooms and in guest suites of hotels and motels, child care facilities, preschool and elementary education facilities, business offices, corridors, waiting rooms, and the like, in clinics, medical, dental, and outpatient facilities. Subsets of the assemblies and occupancies described in 518.2, which we're getting ready to cover, including places like transportation, gymnasiums, skating rinks, auditorium, auditoriums, and dormitories. So now let's head over. So basically, let's recap on this first. Everywhere in a dwelling unit, pretty much exclusively. Hotel rooms and things like that. Child care. Anywhere that there's potentially going to be children, but places like waiting rooms, doctor, you know, doctor's office, dental, all these places that we just listed. And also it does a catch-all and says pretty much everywhere in 518.2. Well, let's flip over there now and see what is listed over here in 518.2. So it says armories, assembly halls, auditoriums, bowling lanes, club rooms, conference rooms, courtrooms, dance halls, dining and drinking facilities exhibitation halls, I probably said that wrong, it's late, I don't even know how late it is, I'm so exhausted, gymnasiums, mortatorium chapels, multi-purpose rooms, museums, places awaiting transportations, places of religious worships, pool rooms, restaurants, and skating rinks. So long story short, tamper-resistant receptacles are pretty much required everywhere. They could save several, you know, drops of ink and maybe a quarter of a page, you know, between these two pages, if they would just say it's required everywhere, it's not going anywhere. Whether you like them or hate them, it's probably the safest receptacle setup that we've came out with yet. If you don't like them, come up with something better. Maybe it'll make it into the code book, but we could save all this ink, all this space on both of these pages and just say, listen, it's required to be everywhere. So if I were you, you know, of course, making sure that you're code compliant with everywhere you install and working with your electrical inspector. But for simplicity, just carry one receptacle. Carry the tamper-resistant receptacle. Am I really going to carry a box of non-tamper-resistant receptacles for the one out of a million place that I'm actually allowed to install it? Probably not going to do it. So with that being said, we're recapping in 406 and also moving into 518, covering all the areas where you're going to be required to install tamper-resistant receptacles. I am the Electrical Code Coach. I hope this video added a little bit of value to you, and you will in turn add value to others. I'm here to help you every step of the way in life and in business. If you ever need anything from me, you can email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.